Hello everyone, welcome to the series of Mathematical Economics. This is Dr. Atman Shah. In this video, I'm going to discuss the price determination process, uh, which is also known as partial equilibrium analysis. So in the beginning, I will briefly explain the idea of demand and supply equations, and then we will discuss how price is determined in the market. You can find more videos on mathematical economics, econometrics, SPSS, R Studio on my YouTube channel. So don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon. So let's begin with the idea of demand equation. We know that there is inverse relationship between price and quantity demanded or negative uh, association between these two variables. So the linear demand equation is D is equal to A minus B into P. So here D is quantity demanded, P is price. A is the intercept and B is the slope of demand curve. And this minus sign or negative sign shows that we have inverse relationship between price and quantity demanded. So here demand is a decreasing linear function of price. So we are analyzing the linear association between price and quantity demanded. So this is the demand curve DD which is downward sloping, indicating the inverse relationship between price and quantity demanded. The law of supply states that we have positive association between price and quantity supplied. So linear supply equation is S is equal to minus C plus D into P. So S is quantity supplied, P is price, C is intercept and D is slope of the supply curve. And this plus sign shows the positive association between price and quantity supplied. Again, supply is an increasing linear function of price. So we are analyzing the linear association between price and quantity supplied. So linear association between price and quantity demanded and linear association between price and quantity supplied. So we have positively sloped supply curve that is SS. For the simplicity, uh, I have not shown the negative part. Now, what is partial equilibrium? In partial equilibrium, we consider the equilibrium in one market only. So prices in other markets, income and preferences of the consumers and technology are treated as exogenous variable. That means these variables exist outside the economic model. So model of price determination is an example of partial equilibrium analysis. Now, what is the equilibrium condition? The equilibrium condition is demand and supply are equal. And when demand and supply are equal, market is cleared. There is no excess demand or no excess supply because demand and supply are equal. So we have this demand and supply equations. Demand is equal to A minus B into P and supply is equal to uh, minus C plus D into P. In equilibrium, these two are equal and therefore A minus B into P is equal to minus C plus D into P. So A plus C is equal to DP plus B into P. Take P common. So A plus C is equal to P in bracket B plus D. And therefore, this is the equilibrium price. So equilibrium price is A plus C upon B plus D. Now, when we substitute this value in either demand or supply equation, we will get the equilibrium level of quantity. So let's substitute it in the demand equation. So in equilibrium, both are equal. So demand is equal to supply is equal to A minus B. Now, instead of P, we are writing A plus C upon B plus D. And if you do some simple mathematics, we will get the equilibrium level of quantity, which is AD minus BC upon B plus D. So this is the equilibrium quantity. So this is equilibrium price. This is equilibrium quantity. See the diagram. DD is demand equation. SS is a supply equation. E is the equilibrium point because at this point, demand and supply are equal. Both curves are intersecting each other at point E. 
and therefore equilibrium price is op1 and equilibrium quantity is oq1 so this is our equilibrium price that is op1 and this is our equilibrium quantity so here we have demand and supply uh, conditions so demand is price and quantity the set of price and quantity demanded such as d is equal to a minus b into p and s is equal to uh, price and quantity supplied such as s is equal to minus c plus d and intersection of these two is our equilibrium uh, condition so here you can see p1 q1 is the equilibrium set and it is unique market equilibrium because only at this price demand and supply are equal if price is higher than uh, op1 we have excess supply and if price is lower than op1 we have excess demand and therefore market is not clear market is cleared when price is op1 so this is unique market equilibrium that is p1 q1 so in this video, I have discussed the idea of demand equation, supply equation and price determination process. If you like this video, kindly like, share, comment and subscribe. Thank you.